<laughs> I did this with the first water company that I was uh, doing, doing a funnel for. And I asked them, I said, who's your dream customer? And it was this water filter. And they had this referral program where you could go like talk to your, you know, somebody and sell a water thing. It wasn't like an MLM or anything, but there's a referral program. And I said, who's your dream customer? And they said, well, everyone, everyone drinks water. <laughs> and everyone needs a little extra money. So everyone is our dream customer. They were so sincere. And I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> I was like, no, wrong, right? Oh my gosh, we don't want everybody. But we don't actually want everybody. We're only like the dream. We might sell everybody in the world. Can you imagine fulfilling on every person in the world? That would be a crappy business. You would probably die in the fulfillment, right? Hey, I wanna share with you guys my personal checklist of things that I look for for my dream customer. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to rifle them off here real quick. Okay. Yeah, bring your cams out, right? Okay. Um, okay, first of all, I want somebody who has bought and used the product, hopefully from my biggest competition or from the market that I'm serving. I want them. Um, there's a really good book I'd recommend you read if you're a nerd like me, you know. Yeah, it's called Play Bigger. There's a principle called the Category King. Right? Steve Jobs created the category of smartphones. Therefore, he dominated the category. Right? Uh, when, when you go in, like Henry Ford created the category of the car. Therefore, he dominated that category. And everyone else fights over the scraps. Okay? I want my dream customer to already have purchased the Category King's product. Like, what? Are you serious? It actually makes the sale really easy. Okay, why would I want this? Because they're not a freeloader. Okay. Um, I want somebody who's already conscious of the pain that they're experiencing. Why would I want that? Yeah, it's easier to sell a solution, more motivated because they hate it, right? If they're already conscious of the pain of the current product that they bought, my job's easy. There's a lot of old school copywriting courses that would say things like, hey, um, educate the customer on all the problems that are, they're experiencing so that your solution looks more attractive. I'm like, oh. Or I could just wait for them to be aware of the pain that they're in, <laughs> right? Then it's easier to scoop them on up, right? They're in a state to receive my sales letter if they're already in pain. It speaks directly to them. Um, I want somebody who's bought the other guy's product feeling hopeful. They bought it feeling hopeful. They bought it feeling, uh, but now they feel abandoned. They feel forgotten, they feel betrayed. Maybe the company got so big they couldn't fulfill it to the level that they wanted it, right? Why, why would I want that? Easier to switch, better solution. Yeah, right? They're naturally hopeful people. If it tells me that they've gone in and they purchased from my, my competitor or the category king and they were hopeful, that tells me about their psyche. That's as important as the product I'm selling, in my opinion. I wanna, I wanna work with fun, cool people like yourself, right? So I, that, that, I want them to have gone through and done that. Um, I want them to not play 20, like 20 questions with my support. Um, Many, and that's not to say like we don't answer questions. We certainly do. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they know value when they see it. They don't reach out to me on social media and say, I'm thinking about buying this thing, but what about this? 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 And I'm like, man, my funnel didn't do the job. I was like, wait, you saw the sales letter? Like, yeah, yeah, I read the whole thing. And you're still asking all this? You, you know what I mean? It, it keeps that person out, which increases my success rate. I'm actively keeping as many people out as I'm trying to bring in. Um, they're a natural action taker. I already want them to have a level of success. What does it tell me when somebody's already had some success in their life? They have tasted success. I don't care what it's in. Something I took first place in underwater basket weaving. Sweet. You will most likely be better here, right? They're most likely to succeed with my products if they've tasted success in their life. If they've never gotten off the couch, but they have the money, that is not a dream customer, right? Uh, I want them to consume content regularly. Why is that important? Yeah, they're, most, they're more likely to consume my content. And I publish a lot of content. Right? I want them to be consuming a lot of my stuff. I, uh, I want them to have bought an identity with their, what we call the Red Ocean. I want them to, uh, to have bought an identity with my competitor's product. Why would they buy an identity? What does that mean? You guys, how many of you guys have a ClickFunnels account? Just so I know. Sweet. That's awesome. 
What did you get when you bought ClickFunnels account? You got a shirt. What did it say? Why does that matter? It's the tribe, man. They bought an identity. And I want them to have purchased an identity with somebody else. It's the, this is the easiest pre-frame, pre-stage ever when I drop my actual thing in front of them. Okay? And the, again, the reason is because a lot of them, if they're feeling a little jaded, or if they're feeling a little bit, right, uh, like in the MLM space that I sell them to, how many of them feel jaded, do you think? A lot. But they bought an identity, which means they're looking for an identity. Seth Godin taught, there has never been a moment in history where we have detribed so much like we are now. Everyone's detribing. We are looking for tribe. We want tribe. It's a book called Tribes that he wrote about it, <laughs> okay? And uh, anyway, so looking for a new identity. I want somebody who's a sneezer, meaning they talk about their life a lot. Um, that's a, another Seth Godin reference. Uh, sneezers, uh, somebody who spreads ideas, totally disgusting phrase, <laughs> okay? But they spread ideas, right? They're gonna become my marketers for me, my little mini-me's that are spreading the message because I got really psyched about it, right? I'm looking for that. Why? Because they spread ideas. Um, I want someone who has a strong sense of self. This is one of the, why, why would I want that? I don't want to babysit. I am a terrible life coach. In fact, most people hate how I life coach. <laughs> Lean in, son, what's wrong with you, right? Like, feel the burn, right? And people are like, ah, oh, love me. I'm like, I do, that's why I'm telling you that. And they don't want, they don't like my answers. I'm a terrible life coach. I'm great at delivering what I do, right? My company is not their personal validation. How many of you guys know you have customers that are in that phase right now and you are a life coach? And you didn't mean to be, right? This is why I have that be one of my qualifiers. Okay, um, I want them to be willing to buy, able to buy, and a dream, meaning they have bought, okay? Um, when I hit all those criteria for me, it means I love working with my customers. That is you guys, and I love hanging out with you. That's why I was saying that earlier, it's true. You don't give me anxiety. <laughs> I love hanging out with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> guys, uh, this is a, one of my favorite quotes. Um, again, this is another Dan Kennedy reference. Eventually we buy because of identity. Right. Why are you here? Capitalist pigs. pigs. Okay. The higher the income, the more the person paid for who they are rather than what they do. Oh, baby. Did you feel the ground lift a little? I did. <laughs> That's a good quote. Eventually buy because of identity. And we'll talk about that more moving forward. Um, how many of you guys have realized, Steve, uh, I'm selling a broke customer. How many of you guys have realized that right now? I'm, I'm in the wrong, am I in the wrong business? You guys realize that right now? My answer, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> it's easier to change the dream customer than it is to change your whole business. So before you obey, that's why I shared that story at the beginning. Before anyone's like, I just realized I hate my customer, right? <laughs> right? All, all I want you to get a realization on is that instead of changing everything, like I did when I left ClickFunnels, I did not change everything, but I realized, oh my gosh, I, I don't actually love getting out of bed for the type of person who's coming in. I'm not judging them, just saying. They're probably not in a place to execute what I'm gonna tell them. Therefore, lower success rate, not as fun for me, not as fun for them. Culture goes down, everything sucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So instead, just change the who. And uh, that, a lot of times is the one thing that will click it all together here.